Hello everyone, today I'd like to go through an overview of one of my slightly older scenes. This was a first year design study project when I experimented with how to render a product so that it appears to be in an interior environment. This video will broadly cover the techniques used. First, the model itself. In this scene I've modelled not only the product but also a table to place it on. A set of keys to help give some sense of scale and a glass of juice to help invoke some feelings of childishness. I don't usually resort to such measures of psychology and reference, but it was necessary in this scene. Second, the camera parameters. A focal length of 50, because this is a reasonably large product scene and I wanted some perspective to make the image appear more natural. The f-stop is 11. That's quite low for a product scene. Again, it's to do with wanting a more natural interior image. and I'll explain more later on and an EV number of 8, a little lower than I would expect but you have to work with whatever your environment gives you. Finally, and probably the most important settings in this scene is the environment. I'm using Maxwell 2.6.1 and the environment settings have changed slightly over the version so yours might look slightly different. I've got the type set to image based which gives me these options under here for what image I want to use to provide illumination data to this scene. You can use different images for the background, reflection, refraction and illumination and these are called the channels. In my reflection, refraction and illumination I've got the type set to same as background so whatever I put in the background will apply here as well. This is the map where we select the actual image we want to use to provide our environment data. We have to use a special type of image called a high dynamic range image or HDRI for short in the equirectangular or latitude longitude format. This is what I mean. It's created using multiple exposures of an entire 360 degree panorama of a room which are then combined to produce the high dynamic range image. I'll leave a link in the description to HDR Labs, an excellent source of these images including the one I've used here of the interior of a room. If I go to my perspective view, right click center scene and then have a look around my scene, you can see the interior of the room in the viewport. The high dynamic range image has been applied to an infinite sphere surrounding the scene and appears undistorted except possibly at the poles, so at the very very top just there and at the very very bottom just there where there may be some distortion but in a product visualization it's unusual to be looking at the very top or very bottom of an image so this isn't a concern. Because the HDRI is applied to an infinite sphere around the scene, it can sometimes appear very pixelated in renders. To avoid this, Maxwell has this interpolation setting in the environment window which reduces pixelation. If I turn this off, you'll see in the interactive preview that the background does appear slightly pixelated. If I turn it back on again, it smooths out the background. Another way of helping to reduce the pixelation issue is to use a low f-stop, which I mentioned earlier, to reduce the depth of field in your scenes. This will help to make the background appear out of focus, simultaneously bringing your audience's attention to the focal point, in this case the product, and also helping to disguise the pixelated background. So to recap for creating this style of image, model a fake table and don't let your audience see that it's just floating in space. Use a reasonably low f-stop to blur the background and use a high dynamic range image of an interior space to provide accurate and realistic environment lighting. For more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.